Mark Connor, not here coming. Just thanks so much for joining me today. Good to see you, Dave. We're going to talk about health and fitness and the upcoming sports experience that you guys are hosting in February. And we've we've talked about you know, sports and fitness and Olympics and creativity forum over the past few years, but today I want to talk pancakes. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. <laughs> And here's why. Okay. I'm looking at your Twitter feed. This is like, uh -huh. okay, what's Bart Connor been up to? Right. And I see pictures of you guys with fit athletes, you know, uh, ice skaters and gymnastics at your various events that you guys have been working. And then I see back in November, I think you posted, just had my first senior food experience at <laughs> IHOP. <laughs> and there's a photo of the pancakes. Well, I'm turning 40 here in a, in a couple months. Okay. My question to you guys is, okay. as we all get older, how important is it to maintain your health and fitness? And is it a matter of moderation? Is it? Uh... Let me first explain about the pancake. Because you know, <laughs> okay. we have a seven and a half year old son. And I was bringing him home from school one day and we're driving by IHOP. And my son goes, pancakes, dad. And I'm like 3.30 in the afternoon, perfect. So we go in there and I guess maybe it's slightly after four because they hand me the menu that says 55 plus. And I said, what does that mean? She says, well, if you're 55 or older, you get a discount. And I said, well, I'm 55. I'm not sure whether I should laugh or cry right now, but I'll take the discount. I'll take your discount. So I had some awesome pancakes. I'll take your discount and some pancakes. How is Dylan, by the way? He's great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's so. driving now. He's seven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe not. All right, so the Olympics, the Olympics are coming up next month in, in Sochi, Russia. You guys going? No, we're not going, but we'll be watching like a lot of other people. And... Um, excited to see what's going to happen and who are the new champions and what are the other ones who already experience uh, an Olympic Games are doing. We've heard, uh, actually we've read that some of the people who already competed four years ago will be trying to make a comeback. So. Uh, it will be fun to watch. And you know, we have a conflict because the Barton Nadia Sports Experience is February 21st, 2nd, and 3rd, and the Olympics are two weeks prior to that. So we, we would miss all the pre run up to gotcha. our events. So, you know, we're, we won't be able to go this time. You've both won gold medals in, in the Olympics. What are athletes who are going to the Olympics this time around, what are they experiencing? What are they going through right now? I think at this time they are already ready to compete. Uh, just counting the days uh, until they are going. It's just uh, working on the little details uh, because the entire work for the the games is already basically finished mm -hmm. uh, more than four years because it's not only four years it's there are other years before that they worked on it some of them had a chance to compete four years ago some of them are just new to the to the thing and uh, I remember when I was in that situation I was like come on I want to compete two more days I don't want a month I just want to go now. And I really feel for the athletes as well. I mean, my, my palms get sweaty when I think about the pre-meet jitters, you know, because you, you realize that, uh, you know, the Olympics is, is unlike many other sports in that you really probably only get one shot at it. It's not like you can come back next year and try again, right? And you might wait four years, but that's pretty rare that somebody makes more than one Olympics. So yeah, a lot of the athletes know the enormity of it. You know, their whole lives have been sort of programmed to hopefully peak at the right time. but. You know, anything can happen. That's why that's why sports are so magnificent. The Barton Nadia Sports Experience will be at the Cox Center coming up February 21st through the 23rd. What can people expect there? Well, you know, we've been really thrilled to be partners with the Oklahoman on this event now for four years, and it's grown a great deal. Last year, we had more than 8,000 Oklahoma residents who came through and saw our activities. I know you came down yeah. and did a live broadcast. We were there. right outside the rowing area, maybe, right. and there was just a lot of, you know, excitement and energy and, and people cheering them on. It was, it was a great event. It was fun. And you know, it started with a gymnastics meet. We started running quality gymnastics meets here in Oklahoma. And as we talked about the future plans, we said, why don't we take on a larger mandate and talk about health and wellness and why sports should be interesting for kids as a chance to get fit and learn about sports and wellness. And so when we partnered with the Oklahoma and we sort of put our two entities together and said, let's put under the umbrella of the Barton Nadia Sports Experience all these activities, which include quality sports competitions. Uh, there's fun sports experiences for kids to come down and try things they might not have tried before, like rowing on an ergometer or kayaking or slacklining or gymnastics, basketball. And over the years, we've developed great partnerships with all the entities here in the city. I mean, the Thunder are going to be there in a big way this year. Rumble's going to come down. The cheerleaders are going to be there. 
there. The Dunk Squad's going to come and do some Very exhibition. Nice. So it's going to be really fun. And our whole goal is instead of, you, you can't tell kids you need to be fit because it's going to be important for your future. The point is come down, have some fun, get engaged in sports, and you'll realize that if you want to play well, you got to make smart decisions about what you eat, how often you sleep, and how you take care of yourself. And some important gymnastics events going on as well this weekend. Yeah, we also have the Nadia Komunic International Invitational. Uh, it will be a total of 2,000 gymnasts who will compete actually over three days. It's crazy. And eight countries, international countries, and proud to say that Romania will be there too. Nice. Representing the country of, of Romania and uh, will be a lot of fun. And uh, people will be excited to see that. And you will have a Nadia Komunic Award as well, right? Yes, we have. I, I mean, I present the medals to uh, all gotcha. the competitors, but uh, to every session I pick uh, two or three gymnasts and I give them the Nadia Komunic uh, Award. And they are not necessarily the gymnasts who are winning the competition, but we also ask, ask the coaches, uh, you know, one of the gymnasts who motivate the other ones in the gym or had a difficult time learning a, a, a move and uh, she's going back and back and trying to see how she can accomplish that move. So, you know, things like that. Well, how special is that for an athlete to, you know, not only compete in this event, but perhaps get an award from Nadia? Yeah, it's pretty special. I'd like that too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Dave, one of the things we've added to this event is a college gymnastics meet. And I think you know that the Oklahoma Sooner women are just superb. Mm -hmm. Every year they're ranked in the top two or three in the country. They're that good. So we have on Friday night, February 21st, we have a collegiate meet called the Perfect Ten Challenge. And this year it's a quadrangular meet featuring the Sooners against six-time national champions Alabama, Big Ten champions, Michigan, and the Eastern Conference champions from West Virginia. So four teams, and it'll be live two hours on Fox Sports Oklahoma that evening. But we're really excited because I think it's one of the premier collegiate gymnastics meets of the year outside of the NCAA championships, and it's going to be right here in Oklahoma. So we're really encouraging community to come out and cheer on the Sooners because it'll be a chance for them to see really how world-class the Oklahoma Sooner women gymnasts are. These events, Friday, February 21st through Sunday, February 23rd at the Cox Arena downtown and a free event for the families Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Bart, Nadia, thanks so much for your time today. We I'm appreciate done. it. I will, and, and maybe, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll talk pancakes again. <laughs> Good to see you today. Thanks, guys. <laughs>